What's up guys, this is Ristin from RossmartTech.com and today I have a freaking amazing video prepared for you guys. You guys are gonna love it. I can't wait to get this thing started. Now, right before me here, you guys see a bunch of parts. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna water cool a Raspberry Pi 3. Yes, we're gonna water cool a Raspberry Pi 3. Aren't you excited? I'm freaking excited. Again, I have all the parts right here. All right guys, so this is the res pump combo. This is from Sys Cooling. This is all we're gonna need to get this project going. It's a pretty cheap res combo, as you can see. I didn't pay that much for this, probably like 20, 30 bucks. But if you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave a link to this res pump combo in the description. All right guys, so this is the radiator we're gonna be using. This is a 120 millimeter radiator, pretty cheap. I'll leave a link to this radiator in the description if you guys are interested. All right guys, so I got this 120 millimeter fan, it's red. This is gonna go on top of that radiator. We also got here our Raspberry Pi 3. We need the Raspberry Pi 3 for this project. So this is the actual water block that's gonna go on top of the CPU. And this is the MCX Copper Edition. So this is one of the adapters we're gonna be using so that we can use the three millimeter uh, tubing for the Raspberry Pi water bowl. I'm gonna leave a link to this one in the description as well. All right guys, so this is the actual thermal transfer adhesive pad that's gonna go on our water blocks. It's gonna connect from our Raspberry Pi to the water block. So this will transfer the heat from the Raspberry Pi to the water block. The powering everything is gonna be this power supply. This is the world's smallest power supply. This is the Pico power supply, this is 120 watt version and uh if you guys are interested I, I did a video review on this where i connected some of the raspberry pies and this is for, i think like 60 no i'm sorry like 40 dollars and you'll also going to need the adapter all right this is the adapter you're going to need to buy for that pico power supply all right guys so this is the molex to two usb 5 volt connectors this is what's going to allow us to connect the raspberry pies to that power supply again molex to two uh, five volt USB cables here. All you need to power the Raspberry Pi. All right guys, so this adapter is gonna allow us to turn Molex into this three pin. The three pin will allow us to power up our res pump combo and also power up our fan. All right guys, so this connector is gonna allow us to power on our power supply. It's got a power here, power on and off. And this is a 24 pin connector that's gonna allow us to power on our 20 pin power supply. Again, all we have to do is plug in our 20 pin power supply here switch on the power and it'll turn on and off. This triggers the on and off switch. This is the tubing here, the soft tubing that's gonna allow us to connect all our uh, water blocks. And this is also gonna connect to our adapter. This is a three millimeter tube inner and a five millimeter outer. So this is the perfect size for our uh, Raspberry Pi water blocks. All right guys, so I got plenty of this other soft tubing here that we're gonna use with our other fitting, which I'll show you in a second. And this is one of the other fittings we're gonna use in the build. I'll show you guys how this works in a second. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our adhesive strips. We're gonna connect it to our Raspberry Pi CPU, right? And, and place it onto this like CPU right over here. Now we can place the water block right on top of it. So now we're gonna do the same thing with this chip right there. Now we're gonna put the other water block. So now what's gonna happen is when the, when the chip heats up, it's gonna transfer the heat to this uh, water block here and it's gonna dissipate it through the liquid. All right guys, so now we're gonna take this three millimeter tubing here and we're gonna connect these two water blocks together. So one will flow into the other. So the first end here, I'm, I'm gonna connect to this part here, lock it in place. And the other end is gonna connect to this uh, other water block like so. So I'm just gonna cut it like right there. Cut it like right there. Make sure you cut a straight line. We're gonna use the other tube for something else and we're gonna connect these two water blocks together. And just keep pressing down until it is snug. Okay, again, the way it's gonna work is uh, one is gonna fill into this block here. This uh, end is gonna flow to the other block and uh, we're gonna take another tube out into like the radiator or reservoir, whatever. So that's how they're, these two are connected here. All right guys, so now we're gonna connect this soft tubing to this fitting right here. It's pretty simple, just unscrew the fitting and place uh, one end through the cable like so. Then you got to push this through. Okay guys, so the fitting is on there. Again, this barb, all you have to do is bring this back here and just screw it in. And it should lock the tube in onto the fitting. And you should only have to uh, hand tighten. Never use like any tools like a wrench or anything. You don't want to over tighten it. All right guys, now the next step is to connect this fitting to this adapter here. You're just gonna screw it into here. This is, I guess, G one quarter. This is all G one quarter, by the way. All you have to do is again, hand tighten. Don't use any tools. All right, so again, this fitting 
what, it, what it's doing is taking this big tube here, which is going to connect to our radiator and the pump, right? It, it converts it to uh, these five three millimeter barbed uh, fittings here. We need these three millimeter bar fittings so that we can use this three millimeter uh, tubing here. So that the three millimeter tubing is going to connect to this three millimeter barbed on the water block of the Raspberry Pis. Otherwise, it won't work. So we're going to connect one end here from this barbed fitting to our uh, Raspberry Pis. Before we can do that, we need to take one of these caps. This is a uh, G quarter cap. We're gonna cap off this end here because we don't need we don't need it to go through anything. All right, guys. And I also have these black plugs. We're only gonna use one of the barb three millimeter fittings. So I'm gonna plug off four of them. So this uh, will also be in the description. All we have to do is push them through. And they will lock on. Don't push them super tight to break the fitting. Just enough so that it uh, locks in. I'm gonna close this end right here. And I'm gonna close this end here. And finally, I'm gonna close this middle one right here. You gotta push it through enough that it's secure, but don't push it hard enough that you're gonna break the fitting. They're barbed three millimeter fittings. Again, just enough so that they're, they're there. I'll leave a link to this uh, cap in the description. Okay, right, guys, so we're gonna take our three millimeter tubing again. And now we're going to connect one end to this other end here. Just press it down. Don't push it too hard. It will break just enough so that it locks in. And uh, this part's going to go to our adapter here. Hopefully you guys understand what's going on here. What's basically happened is, uh, let's say you connect this end to your radiator, right? It's going to flow through here. This converts this tubing to this smaller three millimeter. Have everything else capped off here. This is a five splitter. You could, you, could, you could have like five of these three millimeter wires coming out at the same time. I got the other end capped because two sides have uh, G quarter threading, but I only need one. And I capped off the other side using a G four cap or G one quarter cap, I'm sorry. And that one of the three millimeter tubing is going to the water block. I'm using a three millimeter tube to connect one water block to the other. And now we're gonna connect another three millimeter tube to another one of these adapters, the second one. And now we're gonna convert this one back into the big tubing. All right guys, so we're gonna take another one of these tubes, these bigger tubes. You guys can use any bigger tube in any fitting you want. It doesn't have to be, have to be the same fitting I'm using, but you have to use the three millimeter fitting with this adapter to connect to the Raspberry Pi. Any other fitting doesn't make a difference. It could be any size fitting and any size uh, tubing. Again, the tubing has to match the fitting. That's all you need to do. Now we're gonna connect this bigger tubing to this fitting again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw it like so. This end is gonna go through here to the tube, push it through. Then we're going to push this part through. Okay, right, so we have to just tighten this in once you get it securely onto the barb. Now again, we have to get this adapter. We're gonna screw it into this part here. This is all G one quarter thread. We're gonna plug off this end as well because we don't need it. We only need one side. Use your hand just enough so it gets tight. And we're gonna cap off these ends again. We're only gonna use one and we're gonna cap off four. All right guys, now we're gonna take one end of our tubing here, our big tubing, and we're gonna connect it to our radiator. This is a bar fitting in the radiator. So just push it down firmly until it's all the way to the end, all right? Now that's done. We're gonna take another one of the three millimeter tubes and we're gonna connect it to the other end of this water block here, like so. Push it down so it's firm enough so it makes contact. All right, so that's connected. Now all we have to do is connect the other end to this one here. The other one we just created. It's got one port free. We're gonna connect it there, right? Like so, just push it enough so that it, it makes contact. All right, so that part's done. So hopefully you, get, you guys are kind of getting an idea of how this is working here. We're going to connect this thick tube to our reservoir pump now. It's got to go in the in infill, not the outfill. So this arrow shows us that this is going into the reservoir, not out. So just push this through. This reservoir has a, its own bar fitting as well. All right guys, so now all that's left to do with the tubing is connect the thick tube from the other end of, of the radiator. Just push it down. All right, connect one end and the other end to, to the output of the pump this time. So it's gonna flow into the radiator. So just push this through. All right, so that's pretty much done. The whole setup is done. We just have to connect like the power and everything and, and uh, fill up the tank. But hopefully you guys kind of get how this is working here. 
I'm gonna go over it right now. It looks kind of complicated, but it's not that complicated if, if you think about it. We first started off by connecting two water blocks, right? Each water block has two ports, two three millimeter uh, barb ports, ports, I'm sorry. We connected the, the two uh, water blocks here using the three millimeter tubing. One end of the tube of the three millimeter tubing went into this adapter, which converted uh, three millimeter to this bigger tubing so we could fit it onto our radiator. That bigger tubing connected to our radiator, right? It, it went out this way, connected into our pump, connected out of our pump, and went back into uh, the Raspberry Pi. So this, this whole system right now is uh, just cycling the liquid uh, from the res to the pump to the Raspberry Pi. Right, okay, so now I'm gonna connect the fan on top here. I'm not gonna screw it down, but I'm just gonna connect it on top. It will stay on. I have the screws here. If you, want, if you, want, if you guys wanna screw it in, you can screw it in. I'm gonna reuse the fan on my Raspberry Pi 3 cluster water-cooled uh, video series that I'm working on now. This is just showing you guys how to water cool a Raspberry Pi using the fittings and these water blocks. All right guys, so now we're gonna connect everything to the power supply. We got this micro USB cable connected to the Raspberry Pi and uh, this is regular USB out. The way this is gonna work is we have this adapter here that's gonna connect to the Molex of this power supply. Uh, this will allow Molex to convert into two five volt USBs and you can power two Raspberry Pis using this one adapter. So we're gonna connect one of the USBs to here because we only need to connect one Raspberry Pi and power on one Raspberry Pi. And we're gonna connect the other end to this Molex right here. And now the Raspberry Pi, once we turn on the switch, will be powered on. And speaking of switch, I have this other adapter here. This is a 24 pin adapter. But this, what this is allow us to do is take our 20 pin connector here on our power supply and connect it to here and we could power on and off the power supply using this one switch. We connected the connector to our 20 pin. So now when we wanna power on the power supply, all we have to do is like hit this switch right here. This is a red switch on and off. That's it, so that's pretty cool, right? So now we have one more convert, two more converters actually. This one converts SATA power to Molex because I don't have an extra Molex connector on this power supply, but I do have a SATA power. So I'm gonna convert this SATA power into a Molex. So this is the SATA power, and we're gonna convert it to, with this adapter to Molex. Now we have another Molex. So basically this Molex is gonna power this fan here. There's a Molex connector on this fan. So I'm gonna connect this right here. All right guys, so now the fan is connected. We don't have to worry about the fan. Let's just get this cable out of the way. And this there. All right guys, so all we have to do is connect the power to this uh, res pump combo. It uses a three pin. We don't have a three pin on the power supply, but I have one more adapter. This one adapter is gonna convert our Molex into a uh, three pin. So again, we're gonna connect this to the Molex. We can connect it here, because this is like a pass-through Molex here. So we connect it on this side, like so, right? And connect this other end through here, bam. So basically, the res pump combo is powered. Everything's connected right now. Everything's ready to be powered on. We can't power it anything on, so we fill this up with liquid first. You never want to run a pump dry, you will break it. All right guys, so this is the coolant we're gonna be using. This is the Primo Chill UV Red, and this reacts to uh, UV light. I have a UV light, so uh, when, when it's dark, it's gonna react. It's gonna look amazing when we fill this up and uh, the lights are turned off and we have that UV light connected. All right guys, so I connected the power supply to its power source. So when we flip on the switch, everything will turn on. I also loosened the cap of our reservoir because we're gonna fill it. We can't turn on the power until we fill it up with some liquid. If you try to run the pump dry, it will break it. So I don't have a uh, funnel, but I do have this cup here and I have some of the coolant here. I'm gonna keep filling it. I'm gonna keep filling it, turning on the power supply, keep filling it so it's full to the top. I'm gonna try not to spill. All right guys, so it's filled up to the top now. As you can see, it started coming down the tube here. Once I turn the power on, it's gonna cycle the rest of the liquid to the other parts, and I'm gonna keep filling it until it's completely full. I'm gonna turn it on right now and stop it. Stop it before it completely runs through. You wanna leave a little liquid in there, then we're just gonna keep on filling it. Now right, guys, it's filled to the top again. I'm gonna cycle the power. Stop it before it completely empties, as you can see. It's trying to get through right now. What I forgot to do is I forgot to disconnect the Raspberry Pi for now. We don't need it powering on and off, so I'm just gonna disconnect the Raspberry Pi for now because all we're doing is just filling up the loop. So 
I'm gonna keep adding liquid till it's completely filled. Remember, you never wanna run your pump dry. What it's doing now is pretty much just filling, filling up the radiator. Once the radiator's filled up, it's gonna start filling up the rest of the stuff. So I'm just gonna keep filling it up till it's capped up. I'm gonna keep filling it until this liquid doesn't go down anymore. Turn it on again. I'm gonna put the cap on just for a couple of minutes so that I can move the reservoir around so that it releases some of the air bubbles. And I'm gonna see if I can fill more of this cabling with this here. Yeah, it's pretty much full. I'm just gonna keep um, moving this up and down like so, so that some of the air bubbles are released. And uh, right, as you can see right here, there's a gap. There's some air bubbles there that we want to get rid of. So we just move the radiator up and down like so, so that it'll fill the liquid. And it should be good. All right guys, so the loop is completely full and I tested it out and everything is pretty much working. There are no leaks and even the Raspberry Pi uh, water blocks are getting all their liquid. Now, we're gonna test it out right now. I'm gonna turn on the power. And as you can see, I'm just gonna move the fan over. All right, basically what's happening is uh, the radiator is cooling the liquid, right? The fan is cooling the radiator. So all that heat that's dissipated from these water blocks, right? Which are connected to uh, the CPUs and uh, the other chip with the thermal tape, the thermal tape uh, transfers the heat. So this pushes through the radiator, the radiator pushes through the pump, the pump pushes back through the radiator, through the Raspberry Pi, through the pump, through the radiator, and uh, it, it cools the liquid and it keeps the, the chips cool. Now, um, that's pretty much it for this video. We're gonna, we're gonna test it out in the next video. So this is like part one of our water cooling Raspberry Pi 3 project. It's, it's gonna be a part two. And uh, part two, we're going to uh, test it out. We're gonna do some benchmarks to see how, uh, how much cooler and how much, uh, how much of an overclock we can get on the, on the Raspberry Pi. And we're gonna compare it to another Raspberry Pi 3 to see which one is faster, which one is cooler. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. This is gonna be part one of the video and it's gonna be a two-parter. Uh, again, we're water cooling a Raspberry Pi 3. We, we already did it. Uh, it wasn't that hard and it's freaking cool. I loved uh, every minute of this. This was all I needed to uh, soothe my geeky soul. <laughs> And I uh, and I and my geeky soul was was soothed. So I'm happy. Hopefully you guys like this video. Again, stay tuned to, to part three. I'm sorry. Hopefully you guys like this video and stay tuned for part two. In part two, we're gonna run some benchmarks. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get temps. We're gonna see how cool it got our Raspberry Pi three. We're gonna bring in another Raspberry Pi three. We're gonna do a comparison to see which one is cooler, which one's faster. We're gonna try to overclock the Raspberry Pi three. We're gonna see how how much we can overclock the Raspberry Pi three before it crashes and. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from MossBarTech.com and thank you for watching.